A very good morning here from the airport of Edmonton. My name is Robin and I want to thank you very much for taking the time to watch this new video of mine. I'm here at the airport of Edmonton at 7 in the morning to fly on Air Canada with their Dash 8 Q400. We have about 45 minutes till boarding so let's go grab some breakfast first and then uh, let's go to Calgary. So please, come with me. Usually I take public transportation to the airport of Edmonton, since it's affordable and has a decent connection from downtown Edmonton. But the day before my flight, I decided to change my itinerary and take a flight earlier. This meant that I couldn't take transit and had to take an expensive Uber instead. But had I kept my original flight to Calgary, I would have missed Air Canada's inaugural Airbus A220 flight, since that original flight to Calgary got cancelled. This is the old side of Edmonton Airport and it's not particularly spectacular. Although it's still a good place to grab some breakfast here and there's ample seating around the terminal. For breakfast, I had decided to quickly grab something from Tim Hortons and on the picture, this meal item looked fantastic. In reality, however, At least, it tasted not too bad. Well, that was a quick tour around the airport of Edmonton and I've had some breakfast, so it's time to go to the gate now. This is a gate with no jet bridge and it currently is minus 28 degrees Celsius outside with a wind chill of minus 41. So it's gonna be a bit cold, but luckily it should be a short walk between the gate and the aircraft. So let's go to Calgary. The flight today is operated by Jazz Air under the Air Canada Express flag on a four-year-old de Havilland Canada Dash 8 Q400. Jazz are the largest Dash 8 operator and aside from the Q400, they also operate the Dash 8 300 that I reviewed last year and the smallest variant, the Dash 8 100. Aside from these Dash 8 aircraft, Jazz also operate a fleet of CRJ200, CRJ700 and CRJ900 aircraft. After a layer of de-icing fluid, with some delay, we set sail to Calgary. The Jazz Air de Havilland Canada Dash 8 Q400 has 78 seats spread out over 20 rows in a single class configuration. The overhead bins are too small for carry-on suitcases and the seats are slightly narrow, but at least there is no middle seat. The most legroom can be found in the bulkhead seats 
which Air Canada classified as preferred seats and cost extra. All seats have air vents and reading lights, but no in-flight entertainment. The tray table is of a decent size and has a fairly deep indent for a cup and can also be adjusted. I actually prefer this type better over the modern tray tables you see on aircraft nowadays. Down in the seat pocket, you can find some common reading material in a large seat pouch. And the legroom is quite poor, but at least there's a coat hook. Jazz carry Air Canada branded reading material on the flight, including the Air Canada in-flight magazine and Air Canada Bistro, although this is a condensed version of the version they carry on other flights in North America. On a short flight like this, no food items are sold, but there are complimentary drinks and snacks handed out. Just as narrow as the rest of the aircraft are the lavatories. There's really not much room here and instead of a sink and running water, there's hand sanitizer. Not a big problem, although the crew cannot wash their hands either and they handle food on these planes. Anyway, for my final two cents on this flight, do stay watching until after landing. Well, after a quick hop, we are now in Calgary. Slightly delayed, we left about 40 minutes later. But I don't really mind, because with these extreme weather conditions, I'm just glad at all that we even got to fly. Talking about extreme weather conditions, I am so grateful with everyone on the airport that works outside with such cold temperatures. Minus 28 with a wind chill of minus 41 is not nothing. So thank you so much for all the talk operators, the people who handle baggage, and just everyone who works outside, the de-icing crew. Um, the de-icing took a bit longer than expected, so eventually we got to Calgary about 20 minutes after um, expected time. Uh, the, the Q400 though, it's not a super comfortable aircraft, it has uh, not a lot, a lot of leg room, it's pretty cramped, the, the lavatory is really small as well, so I'm glad it's just a short flight like this one. After this flight, the, fl the aircraft is actually going to Vancouver and that's a pretty long flight. I wouldn't fly it on this aircraft. Anyway, that's it for now. I am going to fly on the Airbus A220 right now, the inaugural flight from here to in Calgary to Montreal. I'm super excited, super pumped. So I'm going to wait for the aircraft right now. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more like this, like the Airbus A220 flight, 
please subscribe to my channel and otherwise see you next week